What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the second channel. We're going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to connect a Joy-Con or really any Bluetooth controller, but we're going to focus on the Joy-Con today to any Android device. Now I have my Samsung Galaxy S10 here. It is on Android Pie right now, but I tried the same tutorial on my Google Pixel 3a XL that has Android Q and it worked on there as well. So this isn't a new tutorial. It's nothing new at all, but I haven't seen a tutorial just based off the Joy-Con, at least like a high quality one. And mine is probably going to be worse quality than theirs, <laughs> but it's a super basic thing. All you need is a Joy-Con as well as any Android device that has Bluetooth capability. So right now I do have my Samsung Galaxy S10. And all you wanna do is you want to go ahead and enable Bluetooth. You just wanna go into settings and enable it. As you can see on the side of the Joy-Con, there's a little button right there. You just wanna hold that down. As you can see, I stopped it. But once you hold it down, you'll see a little blinking indication. What you can also do is just click a button on the side or something that usually enables it as well. And what you wanna do at this point, you just wanna go ahead and click connect to Joy-Con left or whatever. Sometimes you might get an error saying it can't connect for some reason. I've had that error a couple of times, but sometimes it does successfully go through. And once it says connect, connected, then you're pretty much set. It's a super basic thing. And as you can see right there, we got that issue that it couldn't connect. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and reconnect it by clicking the button, syncing with it again, and then going to go ahead and reconnect to it. And usually the second time it does it, but sometimes there are some issues. I don't really even understand it. And it turns out I was connecting the wrong one. So I already had one paired. So apparently you can only pair one Nintendo Joy-Con to the other one. So that's an important thing to note. So as you can see, as soon as I turn that one on and I go ahead and connect to this one, you'll see that it will be able to be connected. As you can see, it is connected. So that's important thing. As far as I know, you can only connect one Joy-Con. I tried to connect my right one, it did not work out that well. I should have seen it by that left sign, but whatever. So at this point, what you can do, there's a ton of games that are already accessible for it. Sometimes if you can even like scroll through it sometimes, not really. As you can see, you are able to use it and kind of maneuver through things. So that's cool, as you guys probably saw it. But there are some games that already enable Joy-Con input, which is really cool. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a little bit of gameplay with it. One annoying thing about it, though, is that for some reason, this keeps continuing going back and forth as if it's syncing for some reason. Don't really understand that. As you can see, all the buttons do work. It is kind of confusing a little bit. Like, I always forget which button works where. So, and it's cool because sometimes you do have a little cursor that you can actually maneuver. So with Real Racing 3, it automatically goes, but there is a little bit of lag that I've seen. As you can see, like I'm clicking the button to the left, it does take a minute, or not a minute, like a couple seconds for it to register. It's not that big of a deal, but you do kind of have to get used to it. I feel like, you know, for some reason, my Xbox One controller, even on my iPad, worked a lot better than the Joy-Con on the Android, which is really weird. I don't know if that's a Joy-Con problem or if that's the Android or the Bluetooth drivers on here, but hopefully with, you know, better updates and everything that can get fixed but it works completely you just need to get a little bit used to it i think it's really cool you know especially for games like this and even better for emulators you know if you want to connect like a playstation 1 emulator to your joy con you can go ahead and just actually play full-on games and you still have a joy con here these buttons do work here as well so you know i think it's a really cool thing so that's really pretty much it man if you guys have any other questions or you run into any problems let me know in the comment section below hit that like button if it helped you out but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the links in the description as well my twitter my instagram my main channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them